Today's question is, what is God's ideal for marriage? Wow, in our culture, that is a loaded question, but the Bible is very clear. God's ideal is one man, one woman, one lifetime. This is taught clearly in scripture, and it is supported by Jesus, and has been held up for thousands of years by the church. It's God's ideal. In Genesis 3.27, it says, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them and said, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. So the truth is marriage is meant to be a reflection of God's image, male and female united in purpose. And so it's a partnership to make the world a better place. And the mechanism or the reason for marriage is a mechanism to raise children in a stable and safe environment. But I know most of us maybe do not live in the ideal or we know people who aren't living in the ideal. And so here's our challenge, right? We know the ideal, but we're faced with the real life situation. And this is where Jesus steps in. Jesus came full of truth and grace. This is where God covers our shortcomings with his love. So I know that that's the ideal. And when we don't meet the ideal, we need to accept God's love and grace and forgiveness. And we need to learn to love each other regardless of our shortcomings. And we need to challenge one another to live in the ideal, not as a religious obligation, but rather as a way to experience God's very best. And so I know it's hard, but it's God's best because he's cheering for you. So how you need to ask yourself the question in the situation you're in, will the life choices I'm making make me more like Jesus? And the good news is we get to do it together.